Remotes at the ready, Binge Watchers, Netflix and FLX latest drama series, the long-awaited novel adaptation of Kristen Hanna's Firefly Lane, dropped today. In their respective small-screen returns, Katherine Heigl and Sarah Chalk play two lifelong pals making their way through three very stylish and very emotional decades of friendship. In fact, each character's clothing is so carefully considered and curated across the series, it practically tells the story on its own. We caught up with Firefly Lane's esteemed costume designer, Alyssa Swanson, to learn more. I was finishing a feature when I had the first phone meeting with Maggie Friedman, creator, and Lee Rose, director, executive producer, she tells me, noting that she had worked with both Rose and Sean Williamson, executive producer, before. I did lots of mood boards and we had quite a few discussions about characters before I even stepped my foot through the door. I also read Firefly Lane, the novel, as if I was studying for an exam. My copy, which stayed on my desk throughout production, was underlined, highlighted and dog-eared, and served as a constant source of reference. It was just a taste of what was to come, of course, as the amount of research required to effectively illustrate multiple decades was immense. It was three time periods in one. Every once in a while you may have flashbacks on shows, or in the case of Once Upon a Time, we would switch from contemporary to fairy tale, but for Firefly Lane, we were in the 70s, the 80s and the early 2000s every episode. Work began two months before anyone went to camera, though Swanson had spent weeks bookmarking Pinterest imagery beforehand. For the 1970s, she used actual patterns from the era, including Sears and Eaton's catalogs, magazines from her own vintage collections, and others she was able to find in thrift stores or eBay. For the 80s, she says, I used all the same resources, plus my own photo albums from when I was a kid. My favorite was the 80s, since there was such a great range of styles from the start of the 80s to the end. It was like three decades packed into one during that time period, fashion changed so much. To portray Kate Malarkey Sarah Chalk, as a young woman, Swanson's 1980s mood boards were filled with the likes of Brooke Shields and confidently casual catalog models, while her 2000s mood boards were built around images of forced-to-be adult characters like Gilmore Girls Lorelai Gilmore and Sex and the City's Miranda Hobbs. My assistant designer, Catherine Wigzel, and I did a four-equals-day road trip to every thrift store in a five-hour radius at the very start of prep, Swanson notes. We bought clothing, fabric, accessories, magazines and patterns.